Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So in this video, I will be explaining you a very small concept related with uh, asparaginase enzyme. So this is a, this is about a synthetic asparaginase enzyme which is marketed with the brand name Elspur. Now, what is the mechanism of Elspur? Elspur is a synthetic uh, asparaginase enzyme. So let me let me just uh, brief you out uh, the background, and then I'll explain you how exactly and uh, where this Elspur is used. What is the biochemistry behind that? Now we have an amino acid called aspartate, which is one of the non-essential amino acid. So this aspartate in our cells it can be converted into another non-essential amino acid called asparagine. Now the aspartate is converted into asparagine by an enzyme called asparagine synthetase enzyme. So this is the enzyme here, asparagine synthetase enzyme converting aspartate into asparagine. Now during this process the glutamine, amino acid glutamine, it will be giving its amino group and converted to glutamate. Glutamine is converted to glutamate where the amino group, side chain amino group of glutamine will be added to aspartate and that is part of now asparagine. So the glutamine is the donor of the side chain amino group that is found in asparagine. This job is done by asparagine synthetase enzyme. Now, this asparagine can go into protein synthesis. So all of our cells, they have got ability to synthesize asparagine uh, from aspartate using asparagine synthetase. So this enzyme asparagine synthetase is expressed in all of our cells. Now, the tumor cells, some of the tumors like acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is referred as ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or acute myeloid leukemia, AML, or some of the non Hodgkin's lymphomas. So these tumors, they are deficient in asparagine synthetase enzyme. That means uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia cells or uh, acute myeloid leukemia cells. So these cells, since they are deficient in asparagine synthetase, they are entirely dependent on blood-borne asparagine. That is asparagine that we are consuming in the diet, the proteins that we consume, or the carbohydrates that we take, which is containing some amount of proteins. So uh, some of the starchy food which contains a uh, little amount of protein there. So this kind of asparagine which is coming from the food, so the blood-borne asparagine or the, uh, the asparagine that is there in the food coming into the blood, that asparagine is used by acute lymphoblastic leukemia cells or the acute myeloid leukemia cells or some of the non skin lymphoma cells. So they will use that asparagine and uh, parts may so make their own proteins for cell proliferation. Now what is the applied aspect? One of the treatment for acute lymphoblastic leukemia or any tumors that are deficient in asparagine synthetase. So the tumors deficient in asparagine synthetase, that kind of tumors can be treated by a drug called Elspar. So the Elspar is a trade name and uh, it contains asparaginase enzyme. So this asparaginase, it is a synthetic enzyme which is uh, part of this Elspar. It's Elspar contains asparagine enzyme. So what this asparaginase enzyme it, uh, it does? Now the asparaginase enzyme it is going to convert aspart asparagine back into aspartate. Asparagine here, asparagine is converted back into aspartate by adding water molecule. Water is added into the reaction and uh, NH3 will be removed. So ammonia molecule will be removed. Asparagine is converted back into aspartate done by Elspar. So the blood asparagine which is coming from our food, the blood asparagine level will be decreased. The person who is receiving Elspar injection usually given in intravenously, so asparagine levels in the blood decreases because asparaginase enzyme which is present in Elspar is going to convert asparagine into aspartate. So the blood levels of asparagine decreases that means your tumor cells that is acute lymphoid leukemia cells or the acute myeloid leukemia cells or some of the non skin lymphoma cells which are deficient in asparagine synthetase which they are they don't have ability to synthesize their own asparagine they were dependent on blood borne asparagine now you are decreasing the quantity of asparagine present in the blood 
because you are raising else power, that means overall there will be drop or decrease in the cons availability of asparagine for the tumor cells. So they don't you, um, they don't have their machinery to synthesize their own asparagine. That's why the protein synthesis in these tumor cells will decrease. That will give that will decrease the uh, uh, cell load or the tumor load in the uh, in that particular patient. So this is how Elspar will uh, help a patient who is uh, having a tumor which is deficient in asparagine synthetase enzyme. Now if you are wondering what will happen to the normal cells because the asparagine is also needed for the normal cells. But the note that normal cells they express asparagine synthetase enzyme. So they are going to take aspartate and convert that aspartate into asparagine and that asparagine can go into protein synthesis. So that does not really affect uh, normal cells which will affect uh, only tumors which are deficient in asparagine synthetase enzyme. So LSPAR will be effective in uh, tumors which are deficient in asparagine synthetase enzyme and one of the tumor that is deficient in asparagine synthetase is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I hope this video has helped you in understanding the mechanism of action of Elspar, what is the biochemistry behind the mechanism of action of Elspar. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video.